Well, again, of course, I got to do a short story uh, after I post on the practice chanter. Um, <laughs> it's about my great grandma Veda. I heard this just popped into my head. It's going to be a real short story if I can manage it. So, my great grandmother used to, to, she wouldn't drag me around with her. I would go with her because I liked my great grandma. So, <clears throat> and at one time in our family, we had five generations alive all together. So, anyway, my great grandmother had gotten married one time to uh, a, a man whose family didn't approve of her and I was supposed to call him Grandpa Olson because he's actually a blood raid related to him but no interaction and I don't even know if he's alive anyway anywhere anymore so my grandma once in a while she would go over and visit him because they still liked each other because even though they were divorced it wasn't because of them not like they didn't get divorced because nobody they didn't like each other or they had any conflicts they had to get divorced because her his family didn't approve of her and and other bit shall got my grandma great grandma was a character so anyway we went to visit one time and uh, grandpa Olson had this horse who had a favorite rock <laughs> So anyway, this horse would go over and pee on his favorite rock. Now, you could pick up that, and yes, we did it. I grew up around horses. You'd be casual about stuff. So we would pick up this rock, this big rock, and move it around the, the corral. And that horse would walk over, pee on the rock. So I, I've never seen that before. I don't know what it was about that rock, but that uh, that when he had to go pee, he uh, pee on that rock, and he never missed. So anyway, that's the short story. Uh, just something completely random that popped into my head. I grew up around horses. I'm not a horseman. I haven't ridden a horse since I was in my teens, and so you know my muscles aren't developed for riding a horse. But I know how to ride. I uh, probably have to be retaught how to use a halter and all that stuff and everything. But yeah, no. I grew up riding horses intermittently. My, my people are, uh, well, on one side of the family, my people are cattlemen and sheep herders. And a uh, fair amount of stories on that side. I'm just getting this stuff all out here because I'm stuck at home because of my foot and I got good news about my foot um, that I, I had to go in for surgery and um, the only reason why I had to go in for surgery is because I can feel everything in my foot and I don't have diabetes and it's healing but the problem is because I can feel everything the they gave me a shot in my ankle for anesthesia and it didn't work. I could still feel the edge was taken off, but it, they said I would have a fuzzy boot. No, there was not a fuzzy boot there. I was in pain. So they decided that the only way that they're going to get my foot wound cleaned out is uh, knock me on the head. So I have to go in for general anesthesia so they can work on my foot. And, and it's healing. Um, parts of it are getting better. Uh, one part that they, they thought the, the flesh was dead is showing color again, which is a good thing. I'm doing my best to be a good boy, and I want to get out as many videos as, as I can with everybody, whoever chooses to watch them, which I appreciate a lot. Um, Everything's going good. I'm just trying. I'm not. I'm not trying to think more than three days in advance. I'm planning and I'm it, taking care of business, but I'm not thinking about three days more in advance. I go into a huge depression, you know, and I don't don't want to do that. And I don't feel sorry for myself. I'm a survivor. 
I think. And uh, I've always been able to recover for any, from anything that's happened to me. Um, I can manifest things. I, it, I don't know how I do it. I'm just learning about this stuff now, but I've been doing this my whole life is manifesting stuff. That, you know, you set your mind on something and it, it, it happens. Or um, <clears throat> that I, I don't know how to explain it. I decide that I want something, I focus on it, and then somehow it works out. And so that's all I all my mind thought right now. I'm not thinking more than three days in advance because then I'll get stressed or depressed. And can't do anything about it, you know. Can't do anything about yesterday. And the only thing you do is live through tomorrow, you know, one day at a time. I don't drink, so but I know that term. Um, I don't have anything against drinking. I don't have the taste for alcohol. There's a couple of drinks but that I like, but it's not something that I'm going to start doing. So anyway, I don't have anything against it because I've been to the Scottish scotch tasting thing and, well, I had to wait a couple hours before I could drive home because the one thing I can say for sure, I don't have a taste for 40-year-old scotch because apparently that those flavors are too sophisticated for me to appreciate I didn't enjoy it 12 year old scotch okay you know that goes down you know and then you don't feel anything except some warmth until you're drunk too, too much and, and you're like oops and I'm not a drinker so I don't know how to drink so I don't know when to stop so I had to sit down for like 3 or 4 hours before I could drive half a mile to, to my um, hotel room and eat some chili dogs. So, anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>